you guys know that Ukrainian president Volodymyr Zelensky is the voice of Paddington Bear? Paddington 2 was released way back in 2017 and fans are still waiting for a continuation. So, will it happen? Let's find out. Volodymyr Zelensky, the voice of Paddington Bear Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky had a thriving acting career before jumping into politics, but only a few people knew that he was the voice of the Paddington Bear. Just to be clear, Zelensky was the voice for the Ukrainian versions of Paddington and Paddington 2. So far, this is his biggest role, and sadly, he won't return to reprise his role in the third film due to his involvement in politics. The news of his involvement in the franchise surprised fans and actors who worked on the franchise, including Downton Abbey star Hugh Bonneville. As previously said, Zelensky is not expected to reprise his role because these two films were released prior to him becoming a president. Anyway, we have some good news. Paddington 3 is already under development, with filming beginning this year. Cheerio. Where did he go? Hold it right there. Oh, but I'm not the thief. Paddington 3 starts filming. After what seemed like a decade, Paddington 3 is finally showing progress. It has been already confirmed that the third installment of the franchise will start production in the second quarter of 2022. The Studio Canal CEO Anna Marsh revealing that the third part of the franchise will begin filming this spring. So far, there have been a few details released regarding the third film, but we do know that Paul King, the director of the first two Paddington films, is returning to executive produce the role. He won't direct the third installment even though he directed the previous two films. The reason for his departure from the director's seat is not known yet. King wrote the previous Paddington films along with Simon Farnaby and Mark Burton with a screenplay penned by Burton, John Foster, and James Lamond. Paddington proved to be a major success, and both films were praised by critics and fans all over the world. The second one is even said to be the best film ever, at least according to Rotten Tomatoes scores. The first Paddington live-action movie was released in 2014, with the second one arriving in 2017. So guys, what should we expect from the third installment? Who else is coming back for it? And of course, who will play the villain this time? Let's find out, shall we? I like that you're in great shape for a man your age, Mr. Brown. Ah, thank you, Paddington. Hang on, how old do you think I am? Oh, uh, about eight. Paddington 3 Cast Members The first two Paddington movies were praised because of the incredible cast ensemble, with Ben Whishaw as the voice of Paddington, Hugh Bonneville as Henry Brown, Sally Hawkins as Mary Brown, Madeline Harris and Samuel Jocelyn as Judy and Jonathan Brown. We're still waiting for confirmation regarding the cast list of Paddington 3, but there's a strong possibility of fans seeing a brand new cast in the third installment. Do you guys want the cast members of the franchise to stay the same? Would you rather watch a continuation with a brand new cast? Let us know. Now let's talk about one of the most important aspects of Paddington, the Paddington villain. The villain story of the third film must be well written, right? Nicole Kidman played the villain role in the second installment while Hugh Grant was the villain in the first film. It would be fun to see them act together for the third installment, but that seems unlikely, and our guess is that there will be a different villain in Paddington 3. Stop! Thief! The post credit scene Before we talk about the potential plot of the third film, we first need to see if Paddington 2 ends on a cliffhanger of some kind. So does Paddington 2 have a post credit scene? In a world where sequels, prequels, reboots, and spin-offs prevail, having a more successful continuation of the story is rare. However, that's the case with this franchise, as Paddington 2 was proved to be even more successful than its predecessor. To be honest, the sequel has better storylines. For example, the sequel has better storylines, more attention to detail, and of course, a great cast ensemble, with Brendan Gleeson, Hugh Bonneville, and Hugh Grant, who plays the villain. Grant is not really active with his acting career these last years, and his appearance in Paddington was welcomed by fans all over the world, who fell in love with the actor's performances in Love Actually and Notting Hill. While we're used to seeing him as the bad boy turned perfect boyfriend, his entrance into the villain world was perfect and proves that he's a great actor who could play various challenging roles. Now back to the post credit scene. Does Paddington 2 set a plot for the upcoming continuation? Well, not exactly. The story of Paddington 2 had a perfect conclusion, but the film does have a post credit scene. Since the ending of Paddington 2 left us all in tears, literally, the creators knew how to make us feel better with a post credit scene, a scene where Hugh Grant is seriously enjoying himself. We previously said that a lot of attention to detail was put into the Paddington franchise, and it's true, the creators had no reason to go this far, but they did it for us. As you already know, throughout the second film, Grant's character is trying to find a treasure chest 
and with that money, he'll finally stage his one-man show. At the end of the film, Paddington defeats him, and once the credits roll, we see Phoenix Buchanan in jail, finally living his dream. This is practically where the tears from sadness turn into tears out of joy. And again, because of this scene and because of the way Paddington 2 was created, the third installment now lives on high expectations. Since the creators needed five years to come up with a story about a continuation, there's no way the third film could ruin the franchise. This post credit scene also makes us wish to see Grant in the continuation, and even though that's unlikely to happen, we can at least hope for a short cameo. Now let's get into more details regarding the plot of the third installment, shall we? Paddington 3 Plot Paddington's creators stayed tight-lipped for the plot details regarding the third installment, but if the third film follows a similar pattern of its predecessors, there's no reason for fans to worry. Both films so far were similar in structure, but different in story. The first one, as you already know, focused on Paddington adjusting to change. He needed to adjust to his new home with the Browns in London, and Paddington 2 followed a plot where our beloved Bear was wrongfully convicted on a robbery charge. So what should we expect from the plot of the third installment? Maybe a trip where Paddington will travel abroad? That would be fun to see, right? Either way, we're just hoping the third film won't wrap up the story. We believe there will be another installment released five years from now. Let's talk about the villain. After Nicole Kidman and Hugh Grant, is there any way to see Ian McKellen playing this role in the third installment? Paddington is basically loaded with talented British actors such as Hugh Bonneville, Imelda Staunton, Julie Walters, Jim Broadbent, Michael Gambon, and Brendan Gleeson. Oh, did you guys know that Emel Staunton is married to Jim Carter, the famous butler from Downton Abbey? Yeah, we were also surprised. Anyway, with such a talented cast ensemble, Ian McKellen would make the perfect villain in the third film of the Paddington franchise. Our ideal villain group would consist of Hugh Grant, Nicole Kidman, and Ian McKellen. Who would you suggest for the villain in Paddington 3? We should also mention that director-turned-producer King said it's not like Paddington dies at the end. He doesn't ascend to the sky on a rocket-powered marmalade jar. So yeah, you have nothing to worry about as there are plenty of upcoming tales about Paddington. Paddington, Paddington 3 Trailer At this point, it's too early to even talk about the trailer, but we can expect one perhaps at the end of 2022. For now, you can re-watch the two Paddington films, and once we get our trailer, you'll be the first to see it. On a related note, what are your hopes for Paddington 3? Which actor do you think would make a perfect fit for the villain role? Let us know down in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching guys.